Hi everyone, this is the Equus 3612 by Innova compression tester. Uh, I looked around and, and this appeared to be have all the, the best features for the lowest price. So let's see what you got here. This thing's still unopened in the box, but uh, you can see it has a 15 inch rubber hose with a, dis a quick disconnect so that uh, it easily comes off so that you can screw, screw just the hose in. You know, the hose has two rubber, uh, uh, rubber O-rings in there, so it'll screw directly into two different size holes. It also comes with uh, two different adapters, and it will cover the range of 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and 18 millimeter. So uh, it seems to have all the features. There's a pressure release here, a uh, nice, large, easy to read uh, gauge, and uh, all that for the best price. So uh, let's see how it works. Okay, I very carefully took off the back cover uh, so as not to destroy the, the molded part so that I could reuse this as something to store some of the, the pieces in here. First thing you kind of notice is these are nice high quality brass fittings. Uh, they look like they're going to hold up. It looks like it's a fairly high quality unit. Seems to work really nice. Um, I'm impressed. It uh, seems to be the uh, a nice full feature unit at, at the best price and uh, also inside here it has directions in multiple languages if you're into those kind of things and uh, but I'll give you directions uh, right here let's let's try it out okay I got myself a, a weed eater it's got a 26 cc two-stroke engine there and I uh, first took out the old spark plug I used a three-quarter inch uh, deep socket to take that out. And, uh, and then we have two different choices here. This is a 14 millimeter thread, which is really the most common thread you're going to run into. And that's the, the larger of the two adapters, is the 14 millimeter. And obviously, this uh, small one must be a 12 millimeter for perhaps some very odd engines. I don't know what you use that for, but it's nice to have. And uh, I'm looking in here, and the piston's up kind of high, and there's a lot of threads here. So I'm not even going to mess with this adapter here. It seems to go in pretty far. And, uh, but if you wanted to use this thing, you would take a 5 8 inch socket and then uh, just uh, tighten it down with a 5 8 inch socket. But you don't crank these things down. You're just going to tighten it up to where the, the rubber uh, O-ring seats. That's all you need. But there's also a plan B on this thing. And you can kind of see how this has a, a stepped threads. This, this one here is also 14 millimeters. And then I guess there's also an extra large one here that would uh, do the 18 millimeter. And that's probably a pretty odd thing too. So I'm just going to take this and gently screw it into the hole and uh, it goes in nice and easy and uh, get in there nice and easy and then we'll hook up the compression gauge uh, to the end and then we'll crank it and we'll see the compression. Okay, uh, this attaches very easily. You just pull back uh, uh, on this collar. It goes right on in. Stamps on there really easily. And then we uh, hold everything down and hopefully this is in, in shot. Ooh, we seem to have some problems here. You know, it looks like about the maximum I'm getting here is about uh, 50, 50 uh, pounds per square inch. And that explains why the heck this thing won't even start. There, I've got some major mechanical problems here. That's the reason I bought this, is to figure out whether I need to buy a new ignition module or uh, there's something majorly wrong. Because this thing would not even sputter. So with 50 pounds... Uh, per square, it's supposed to have 90 to 110, and at, at 50, this thing's not even getting it up enough to where uh, it'll sputter, because I, I held the spark plug out and I had spark, and uh, well, this explains why it's not working, so this is the reason I bought this, did I know this piece of crap, it looks like I got big ass problems, but uh, now I've got a compression tester, and I can, uh, here's a little valve that lets the air out, press that, lets it out, but uh, now I know, and that's why I bought it, and without the proper tools, you'll never know. Okay, uh, just to show that this thing's not broken, I've got a working chainsaw here, and let's just see what a, a good unit does here. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's well over uh, uh, about 110 or 115. I think it's up to about 100 and, uh, yeah, 110. So that thing went right up to 110. So let me let out the pressure. 
Wow, that one's a good one. I, I gave it a really good fast pull and went up to 120. So, oh man, my, my string trimmer, trimmer is no good. Uh, I hardly ever used it. I only used it a few times. I, I'll have to see what's going on with that. Uh, I'm going to make a video of uh, repairing that. I'm, uh, but uh, anyway, this ends the, the review of the compression tester. It did exactly what I needed. It, it told me good from bad. This is a good one. And the other one's a bad one. And now I know.